Hi folks, I am coming to share with you today a really fun mini album. And it all started with watching Ginger Rop from my sister Scrapper. She's one of my favorite, favorite, favorite mini album creators in the whole wide world. I watch her religiously and I just idolize all the work she does. She's just very, very, very talented. And she had showed this, well first it started with a paper pad that she showed and I was like, oh my gosh, it's Kitty Paper Pad and I had just seen it at our local craft store and it is from Doodlebug and it is called Kitten Smitten. Isn't that adorable? It is the cutest and I'll actually I'll open it up so you can see these papers because it is so stinking cute. All these fun cut-aparts all these banner strips that you can cut out. You've got to be kidding me right meow. I couldn't believe it. And I didn't pick it up, but after I saw Ginger's video, I certainly did go pick this up. Actually, this is my second pad. Um, and I loved her mini album, of course, as I do all her mini albums. So then I also had picked up, just so you know, I picked up the chipboard elements, cut up the pieces. This is everything you get. It's so stinking cute. And then, of course, I picked up the sticker pad of the kitties, and of course, I've used it, so because I'm going to show you the project that I did. Um, and after I created this mini that I'm about to show you, I fell in love with it so much that I went and got the doggy one. And it is just as cute. It's primary colors, however, um, you know, I will be able to use this for my brother's puppy because it's a boy, kind of more boy themed. Um, but I loved the Canine Chronicles, and it says all these funny things, but all the words actually read stuff, which is funny, because these actually have word and text, but the kitty that says Morning Muse just says meow, 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 <laughs> I never laugh so hard. This is probably my favorite out of all the paper. So anyway, I did pick up the boy paper, and then I also picked up the boy, or, or the puppy, um, pieces and elements that I can create some of these mini albums I'm about to share with you. So after I saw her video showing the cute mini album with the paper, with the kitty paper, I bought the kitty paper. And then I saw her create another mini album using this die cut from Lori Whitlock from Sizzix. So Miss Enabler Alert Ginger Rop, <laughs> thank you. I went and bought it. Love this. Love this, love this, love this. And I do like to create mini albums with my hidden bindings and gussets and all those goodies. But these were just so cute, I had to have that die. So this was the first one I made as soon as I got home. And this one was for Lancelot. And I really, really, really wanted to make him one. Um, I just fussy cut out some of the cut aparts, used some stickers. It says, I love my cat. I just left it pretty pretty plain on the back. Um, is that dirt on there? Oh, it's part of the glue. By the way, here's a good tip. Use those foam things that are inside your dies, and if you use them, it gets all that stuff right off your paper. It's kind of cool. Anyway, so I used a sticker here, and I just fussy cut out and matted it on black, and I did use chipboard in between the cover sheets of this one, but not for the pages. Um, it does have two little ring pieces in there, but I did use them, but actually when it's tightened, you won't see it. Um, I cut out my feline friend, you're perfect, and I created little tiny tags. This, These tags I made with um, a Stampin' Up! large tag punch, an old set, <clears throat> and they're a little too small for my taste, but it was the only tag punch I had, so that's what I used. Use a sticker, says cool cat, says you're the cat's meow, and another cut apart, so you could put photos, and then a photo on the back of this, or you could journal. Um, and then this side, I use some more of those stickers and then a tag. It says here, kitty, kitty. And this one says, we're the perfect blend. You had me at meow. <laughs> I just love this paper beyond. Uh, for our friends forever and spoiled. And I love Mew. And it says, time for catnip. <laughs> Which is funny because Lancelot does not like catnip at all. Most Bengals don't. But he does like catnip bubbles. So kind of silly. This one says catitude and then of course I used another one of the cut, cut aparts and this one says it's a cat's life with all the milk and the tuna and the sardines and another tag. Oh and I used a, a tuna can sticker there and then I left this one pretty blank but I did um, allow this to be open so I can slide a photo there and it says perfect in every way 
And then, of course, they had a whole banner that says Cat Lady, and I did put Cat Lady there, and this one that said So Happy Together. And that was the last page. And again, this was my first one with that die set, and so I posted this on Facebook, and one of my girlfriends said, oh gosh, please, please, please make me one for my sister-in-law who just rescued two baby girl kittens um, that are sisters, and I said, oh my gosh. So I had enough in that paper pad, because I tried to use as much of the dark colors as I could for Lancey's. I wanted to keep the pink stuff and I thought well why not I can probably come up with a girl one so I did this one quite a bit different this is the girly one and of course it still says home is where my cat is but I used one of the chipboard elements to cover the other boyish looking cat and use the you know the white with the pink yarn and then the pink paw pads um, and use some pink um, satin to bind it together and with this one I didn't use the rings because I made it really thick uh, I also did change my my tag punch and decided to go with the larger Stampin up tag with the top piece so I like that much better that was gifted to me from my friend Amy and so this one I was able to use quite a bit more and I had extra sheets of all these still in the same paper pad so for two pa one paper pad I was able to create two of these and so now I'll be able to create two more because I did buy an extra one. So I did this and with the border strips that I cut out I just topped them off and used some more of that satin ribbon. One of the little birdies and a cut apart again, a cut apart and then a banner strip up here. And then what I did was I doubled these and I glued them and created just little tags that go into the sides right here that have string um, or the same ribbon sticking out and I put these kind of sideways like this so that the um, satin was not hanging out at the top just off the side I used another one of the little mousy toys on oh, this banner strip of course says cat lady <laughs> and then over here same cut of parts as the last album and kind of the same concept except I used paper on these tags a little bit differently than I did the other tags and I used border strips and of course I added satin ribbon to those. I wanted this to be a really girly feel and then of course the tag on the side and I love this one it says you're perfect and I would have used that in Lancey's but she looks like a girl and it's pink you know so I used some of the bone fish bone paper there and some of the cat yarn paper here and then of course I used the sentiment you've cat to be kitten me right meow because I just thought that was perfect and I didn't want to cover that with anything major so I figured I would just put the tag there and if she wanted to show that she could or she could put the tag back in and add a sentiment or something and then of course another tag out the side of the pocket and um, and then I used the catitude and this one says I love my cat and then the, this page, the very well, it's not the very last page. Um, again, she's got two kitties, so I put those two together and then created another tag here and used some cute little paw prints. And then, of course, another tag. And then this one says, here, kitty, kitty. And then I just, I kind of left this one pretty plain. I didn't use any assortment because the paper's pretty busy. But uh, again, with the two kitties and then another tag here. Um, and then that was the back of the book. The back of the book, again, is just plain like Lancey's is. But I wanted to show those to you really quickly. Um, they turned out so stinking cute. And so I plan on making quite a bit more of these minis. Um, I really like how I put this one together where I created the pockets. It also made it a little thicker, as you can see. So, it, But I did find a way to make this a little thicker, too. So um, I don't mind that it sits up like that. I think it's super cute. Um, even And once you get photos in them, even the one that lays pretty flat, it's still going to bulge out a little. So I um, wanted to share those with you. And then just a quick wedding card share. I was at Craft Warehouse, and they had a tent sale. Um, and I was able to buy a die that I had been looking at for a long time by Tailored Expressions, the Mr. and Miss die. Oh, it's upside down. I'm sorry. The Mr. and Miss die. And... I know it takes a lot of the paper piecing out of the work, but I kind of thought how fun this would be to do it in black and maybe color it in. And so I did. I did just that, and I created this card. And I don't know if you can tell that it is purple. Um, let's see if you can. I don't think you can. Maybe you can. I used Minka Stella. I colored with my um, blendable 
alcohol ink markers and I did three shades of the purple and I added small, medium, and large pearls and then the Wink Estella and then I just edged the edges with some purple distress ink and I just thought it was really pretty. Um, just a pretty paper piece card. I did plan on cutting out the Mr. and Miss and the and like four more times and just stacking them up to give it more dimension but believe it or not my carpal tunnel today just did not let me do that. So, um, And I kind of uh, had a little um, car mishap today too so I won't go into it but <laughs> I'm a little sore today so um, thank you folks for coming and uh, checking out my project share today uh, I plan on making quite a few more of this style of mini just different every time I uh, like I said I'm used to doing you know magnets and hidden gussets and fun things like that so um, first second and who knows what third and fourth are going to look like by the time I'm done with this die cut so thanks again folks and thank you ginger Rock, for being my inspiration and um, I will be back soon with some more projects there. Thanks, folks. Bye.